So today's video has kind of a kind of a theme, and that theme is maintenance. Uh, that was an intro as a kid. Welcome to this week's episode of DIY with Uncle Narkill. Have you ever been mad, upset, maybe genuinely pissed off, and took it out on a poor, innocent, unsuspecting wall? Of course you have. Today we're going to teach you how to fix these pesky fist holes in your drywall. First thing you're going to need is you're going to go to your local home improvement big box store and get yourself one of these fine patch kits. How do you open this? I think we're going to need a knife. Now this here is a knife. First thing you want to do is you want to get your patch. You want to put it right there, nice and kind like. Okay. <laughs> All right, next step here, you're gonna wanna grab your putty shovel, bury it deep inside of this here spackle. You're gonna spread it on here just like that, nice and liberally. Have you ever done this before? Yes, a couple times. Wall's patched, and all we gotta do now is walk away. So I know today's video is all about maintenance. Check out this bacon and eggs. And this absolutely firing view. Oh, and uh, Lexi got an omelet. All right, that was a solid breakfast. Back to work. Now it's time for a little upkeep on the Jeep. So here's what's going on. I don't know if anybody remembers that holy gym a few videos back where I high centered it on that rock. Well, uh, all these bolts that hold the skid plate in now are all all crooked. Kind of bent everything back a little bit and I think I'm just gonna leave it like that. I don't really see this moving that much to be that big of a deal. So, I think I'm just gonna put the missing bolt in and be done with it. I'm also gonna take my drive shaft out take it to Powertrain Industries, and get it rebalanced. And hopefully maybe this thing will be run, uh, run good, hit some trails again. See what they can do about my shaft. Alright, so they're gonna check this out. They're gonna throw it on the balancer, I guess. Uh, if they do need to balance it, it's gonna cost me 70 bucks, which kind of sucks. But if it is out of balance, that's kind of good because then I figured out why I'm getting so much driveline vibration. But then again, it could be because all those bolts holding the skid plate and cross member on are bent, making it kind of I don't know, we'll find out. It's gonna take a couple days though. Back at the pad now, and uh, one thing I did do this week is I got a new housing for my GoPro. It's made by this company, Bauer, and uh, I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. And I'm gonna tell you why. First of all, it's for the old style. It's for the Hero 3, so the back doesn't come off, and it just looks a little different. But here's the number one thing I hate about this. The clasp is so hard to open that you literally bend your fingernail back trying to open it. So I had to order a new one. I ordered one online. It's just a standard Hero 4 GoPro housing. You take the back off, the clasp is nice and easy to use. 
it's really, really hot in here, so I think I'm gonna cruise to the pool. Plus, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm obligated to go test this out. Pretty sure it's gonna be fine, though. All right, let's test this out. I know they like this Every day party until the end of the summer I probably have my feet up with a drink smoke We with all my brothers Don't worry about a thing, I got it covered Laced up, looking like a good day to go and get this cake up Can only play around for a minute or two Sit and wait, watch the moon, blow it up like blues What it is, cracking jokes on each other, what gets Don't be falling down Well, thanks for watching today's video I feel like uh, it's been a pretty productive day Made some progress on the Jeep Did a little DIY at the pad uh, yeah, I don't know. I'll keep you guys posted on what's up with the Jeep. Hopefully I can get the, uh, the driveline thing figured out. I don't know. Anyway, if you want to send me some mail, here's my P.O. box. And until next time. <laughs>